Hi, welcome to Joanna's DIY Life. This is a Sew It Saturday. Uh, today, we're, I've been asked to, on my dish towel video of the dress, to try to make something that would be for a man. And it kind of racked my brain. But anyways, I was researching and researching, and I actually found a dish towel that you could do like this, okay? So, um, this just folds over on itself and then hangs on your oven rack. Easy peasy. And these can be made with printed fabrics or plain fabrics. Um, if you're like me and don't want to get confused, plain fabrics is the way to go. So you don't have to know if it's upside down or whatever. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to do this and uh, then show you how it works. All right. So let's go. bought a kind of a manly dish towel. You know, let's go either way. My daughter decorates in something like this or she did uh but anyway this towel came from the dollar tree and you need one towel and this will make two towels and i have cut my fabric this one is seven and a half by 15. okay so it's seven and a half i mean seven and a half by 15. And then this one would be an eight by eight, all right? Because you want this one bigger than this one just a little. Now, I fused the back of both of these fabrics because they are super, super thin, but it's the only fabric I had that matched this. So cut your pieces, set those to the side, take your towel, fold it in half, and cut your towel make sure you cut it as even as possible and this is how you're going to get two towels and that's by cutting your towel in half so the first thing I'm going to do is work on my fabrics so this is eight by eight I want this on the edge so what you want to do is you want to iron this to itself and this is going to give it stability as well. Then once you get it ironed that way, you're going to take this piece, bring it to the middle, iron this side. Take this piece, bring it to the middle, and iron this side. Then take this side and this side, fold it in the middle, and make sure these two are lined up even, and then press. Do the same thing with this. Okay, so your fabric will look like this, and I got mine pretty even. So I'm going to go to the machine, and I'm going to start on one corner, and I'm going to sew all the way, just a, just a narrow one-eighth top stitch. You know, bring your needle all the way over to your presser foot side, and then run this material down your presser foot. Easy peasy. I'm not going to bring you over there, and then I'll show you what to do with this. Okay, so I just top stitched this. I hope you can see that. Now I'm going to trim away these nappy thread things. You don't have to do that. It just, it drives me nuts. Okay, so you don't want it in this one. You want it in this one. Okay, now if you have directional fabric, make sure your direction is pointing towards you. Okay, this is going to be our top. I got this from... A lady that actually is in Australia I do believe and uh, Christina's home affairs and I thought this was a cool idea okay so I'm gonna go to my machine and this is a little bigger now you want it at the at the seam okay at the seam so pin this down or clip whatever you desire now you see it's longer bring it up and kind of pull it in the middle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this down and this down so that I know this don't shift when I'm doing what else I got to do. Okay so I tacked it down make sure you pull the slack to the middle you can pinch it if you want to to make sure it's not going to move. Okay now you want this half like it is you want this half with your towel on it Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our towel and I'm just going to take the lines that's already in the towel, 
go in a little bit more. I'm going to put my point finger on that. And I'm going to draw this towel up like this. Okay. Now, you can fold yours, you know, to make it boxy. I want mine a little more dressy. Now, if you want to do this for a man, you can make it boxy. I just want to be able to see my design. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to curve it around just a, just a little. And I want this to match up to this. You don't want none on the edges, okay? So, you want to bring this in just a little. And bring these toward the middle. Now, this don't have to be perfect. Just, uh... You could see, it, you can eyeball your distance here, okay? And so you're going to leave a little spot right here where you're going to be doing your sewing, okay? Make sure you count for a little bit on the edge here. About maybe, you know, almost a half an inch, but not quite a half an inch. So now I want to take my towel like this. And I don't want these coming up. This is where I want it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to even my top out here. So bring this in. I'm actually going to pin here to keep this from coming over. And I'm going to pin here, okay? That way I know this ain't moving. So now I'm going to even my top up. I'm sorry about that, y'all. So you have to go with this. I forgot to turn it over. I knew it looked a little funny. Okay, now I'm going to go top. So this closed. Or, yeah, this closed, okay? So I'm just going to run a stitch right across this top. Just a little, little tack down stitch. That's all I'm going to do. Just so this doesn't move when I place it on my uh, fabric. But before I do that, I want to make sure that it didn't spread out any. And I think I'm good. So I'm going to go sew it. I've got my tack down stitch. It's actually called a basting stitch when you just want something to hold there. So I want my tea, tea towel face up. Okay. So the bigger half is on this side, smaller half's on this side. Take your tea towel, place it up and place it in the middle of this and I'm going to put pins here to hold it down, okay? So I'm just pinning for right now, and this needs to come over just a hair. I don't want that to come over. I want this to come over. This will all come out, I promise. I've already done a couple. All right, so we're going to go over here and I'm going to take these out so I don't get poked, okay? I don't want to get poked because what you're going to do is, you could sew this two times if you want to sew this and then do what I got to do. I'm just doing it all at one time because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm about that time saving stuff. So I'm going to pull all my towel in. You can actually tuck it under here if you want to. That'll keep it out of the way and keep this up too. Now just take this and bring this up even with the piece under it. Okay, you want these even. Now I'm just going to move my pin while I'm pinching my all my fabrics together. Okay, pinching all your fabrics together. And you're just going to pin this back the way it belongs, okay? Pin it back the way it belongs. Now, this time when I sew this, I am going to put my 
needle in the middle of my presser foot and then I'm going to run this on the edge of my presser foot. So my needle will actually come over more. I usually go here, but I'm going to move it to over here, okay? So that's just my method of sewing. Um, if, if you want to do a 5 8 or a half, you know, that's up to you. That's just my method of sewing, and it's easier for my little brain. So now I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to sew all of this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew down just a piece and stop. And then sew down just a piece and stop, okay? That's all we're going to do, just here and down a piece. I'll show you what it looks like when I get back over here. Now you have a burrito, sandwich, whatever. What I've done was, it's about an inch. You go an inch, start, and then pivot. So all the way across, pivot, and then go down about another inch, and I backstitch. So now before you flip your towel, you will have these sewn, and this, this, and this. Now flip your towel. I am so sorry. My apologies again. Now flip this in and pull everything to the outside. Now you'll want to go in here and poke out your corners so that this doesn't look a little funny. I mean, you know, you don't want it all rounded up. All right. These corners are not necessary because when you pull this, you'll have this, okay? So, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here and this helps turn your sides in. Make sure your sides are even. And press that down. Do the same on the other side. Press that down. Now I will take you over here and show you how I top stitch this baby because it is uh, not self explanatory. You seriously have to see. Okay. So I'm going to iron these down and take you over there and show you what to do now. So what you'll want to do now is I start at the top and I move this thing underneath of here, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch all around this. You want to make sure you've ironed this flat. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go from this corner, okay? Just because that's easier for me. So I'm going to make sure that I got this lined up here and I'm going to move my needle all the way over to the side because this is just easier sewing for me, guys. That's just easier sewing, okay? Put my foot down. Now, you're going to make sure this is out of the way, okay? Do not catch this, but make sure you're, you're sewing this flat. Make sure when you get this that these two sides that you ironed are even. When you get to the bottom, Pivot. I can go one more time. This machine is so picky. Now just go across your bottom and go up the other side. Okay, when you get here, don't sew over that. Grab that, pull it back, okay? Now just go down. Make sure it stays out of the way. I know this is complicated, but it it's really, really pretty, y'all. And when you get across here, you can pivot. Okay, you can pull it back to you. Pivot. Make sure this stays out of your way. Uh. 
and you're done okay so you should have something that looks like this now I'll show you how to use it now what you're gonna do is pretend this is a, a big oven I got dust in here I was sawing wood the other day sorry take this put it up to your oven take your dish towel run it through here Flip this over. Make sure you clip your threads. And then there is your little hanging dish towel. Now, when this is on an oven, a regular oven handle, it will fit just fine and it'll end up right there. This is just a skinny little handle. But on your oven, that's what your dish towel will look like. These are so beautiful. So beautiful. I love them. Now, when you want to remove them, you just simply pull, okay, and they come right off. If you're using printed fabric, make sure that your fabric goes in the direction of this coming from the right would be the top of your fabric, and make sure that your strip has the fabric face down, right sides together, upside down. I hope that made some kind of sense to you, but here they are done, and I hope that you like them. These could be for men or women, and if you want just manlier, just fold your towel, or you could use a plain towel. Don't have to have anything on it. These are just what I had on hand. So if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel, and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. With all that being said, remember that you are a blessing. Goodbye.